Perform the indicated operation. Then use a calculator to check your work. Now in these problems, we have fractions being added or subtracted with whole numbers. And so there's a couple of different strategies that we can use for these two problems. And I'm going to use a slightly different strategy on each one because addition and subtraction, we have to think of a couple of different things for these problems. Let's start with the addition because the addition is really pretty straightforward. If I say 4 plus 3 fifths, well, if we think about what's going on here, if I have four pizzas and I add another three-fifths of a pizza, notice what we would have is we would have four and three-fifths pizza. When we write a mixed number, what we're really doing is writing an addition of a whole number and a fractional number. That's all a mixed number is. It's like there's a little plus sign there. So if I see a whole number being added to a proper fraction, I can just write that as the mixed number. Now we've said that we like to use um, improper fractions rather than mixed numbers for our final answers, but that's easy enough to do. We can go ahead and say 5 times 4 is 20, plus this 3 numerator would give us 23, and the denominator of 5 would stay the same. And so that's a perfectly good way to approach that problem. That will get us exactly where we need to go. Now with this problem down here, we have to be a little bit more careful because here we're doing subtraction. We need to take 2 ninths away from 5. So there's a couple different ways to think about this, but here's how I'm going to show you. We're going to use the idea of common denominators. We're going to change that 5 to fraction form. And remember, we can do that by just putting it over 1. That's always going to be true. When we have a whole number, we can make it look like a fraction by just putting a 1 underneath it. And now if we're looking for the common factor, or sorry, not common factor, the common denominator, the lowest common denominator of 1 and 9, well, that's just going to be a 9 denominator. So let's think about that, how that's going to work. Our second problem, our second fraction, isn't going to need to change. It already has that 9 denominator. So we can just bring down the fraction 2 ninths. But our first one has a 1 denominator right now, so we want to multiply that by some fancy form of 1. And to come from a 1 to a 9, that's going to have to get multiplied by 9 in the denominator. So that means we're going to have to multiply by 9 in the numerator as well. 5 times 9 is 45. And now notice we've got two fractions that have the same denominator, which means we can go ahead and do our subtraction. The denominator is going to stay the same, and we work the operation, the subtraction operation, only to the numerators. So if we do the subtraction there, 45 minus 2 is going to give us 43. So 43 ninths. And that doesn't have any, um, there are no common factors between 43 and 9. So that would be our final answer. Let's go ahead and take a look at our calculator and just dub double check our work. So the first problem that we did, we did 4 plus 3 fifths. So 4 plus 3 fraction key 5. And sure enough, we end up with 4 and 3 fifths. That little squat U there between the 4 and the 3 fifths, that's how we tell the difference between the 4 whole number and the 3 fifths fractional part. Now, if I wanted to cha have my calculator change that to the improper fraction that we say we like better, we're going to use up above the fraction key. It says A, B, C, and then there's a little arrow, and then it says D, E. But because it's up above, the key, we need to press the, the second key first. So we're going to press second and the fraction key that says take your answer, change it to an improper fraction. And when we press enter, there's the 23 fifths. Let's do our second problem real quickly here. We'll clear this out. We're going to do 5 minus 2 ninths, so 2 fraction key 9 equals, again notice it gives us 2 in mixed number form, if we do second fraction key, enter, there's our 43 ninths, which is what we came up here.